Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tonight, we're going to turn these eggshells into this eggshell powder. And the reason we do that is when I get ready to put the uh, powder out in my garden and I put it in my planting hole, this is gonna break down a lot quicker. Once this breaks down a lot quicker, it's gonna provide calcium for my plants. And in the past, I used to buy the uh, calcium nitrate to prevent, to prevent blossom end rot. And this bag costs 16, 17 dollars, probably a whole lot more now. And I got this about five, six years ago. I rarely ever use it because once I found out about this, don't get me wrong, if I need it, I'm gonna go ahead and use it because you know I paid a lot of money for it. But I have been using the crushed up eggshells for my calcium and it's been working out great. Now, you can crush these eggshells up if you want to with your hand and then put them in your garden, but it's gonna take a long time to break down. So that's the main reason why I like to uh, get crush this up with the eggshell powder. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need, of course, the uh, your eggs, which I already uh, put these uh, out of my carton. You're gonna need a, a coffee, coffee grinder. You also gonna need something to uh, put the eggshells in. I like put them in a bag and I also like put them in a milk carton so I can just sprinkle them out. But that's up to you. And that and you know of course you need you're gonna need your oven. Alright so I'm going to uh, take these over and show you what we're gonna do next. All right, now we're at my oven. I already got it set at the lowest temperature that my uh, oven can go, which is 170, and I'm going to uh, set it for 20 minutes. You can, do, you can do it 20 to 25 minutes, but 20 uh, minutes is gonna um, work for me. All right, so all I'm gonna do, take my eggshells, put them in my oven, all right, my timer just clicked off. All right, so we're gonna go, uh, I'll do 22 minutes. And one thing you wanna make sure that you do is have it on the lowest setting. Don't make the mistake to uh, have it set higher because you don't wanna uh, burn the eggs. And let me tell you, if you burn the eggs, you gonna know it because it's gonna smell horrible. Um, I've done it before. So I had to run to my garage with the eggs because it is terrible, a terrible, terrible smell. I can't stress that enough. So make sure you have it on the lowest setting and you can go 20 to 25 minutes and that should do it. And they're gonna look just like this. All right, they are, they're gonna be all dried out. So when you crush it, I mean, it is uh, real easy to uh, break. So that's what you are looking for. The eggs are gonna dry out. And so now we can take it to the next step. So just watch. All right, this is the next step is very simple. All you do is take your eggs, put them inside of your coffee grinder. And I'm just gonna pack it in. Now you don't wanna overdo it where you can't close the uh, the top, put, put the top on it. All right, so all I'm gonna do is put that down. It's gonna get kind of noisy. I like to shake it up. I'm gonna make sure I crushed it up pretty good. Now when you take it off, you, since I'm inside, I may wanna get a mask but I normally do this outside because the powder is going to kind of fly up. Let me open my bag. And all I'm going to do is uh, pour that inside. Now, if you want to uh, use the container, you could take some foil. Once you uh, crush it up, pour it into the foil take the top off and then turn the uh, foil and just let it slide into 
your uh, bottle. And then when you finish, you put the cap on it. Like I said, I like both, but uh, this is easier just to pour it in like that. And that's basically all you have to do. Now I'm not going to uh, sit or let you watch the whole thing. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll wait for the uh, next batch. But this is an easy way for you to get your calcium to your plants. And it's a quicker way. And then you don't have to worry about spending all this money for calcium nitrate. But one thing I will tell you is that if your ground outside is having a big deficiency, then you may want to try to uh, add uh, calcium nitrate. And some people do a uh, sample of their test sample of their uh, soil. If it's real, real low, then chances are you want to get something else other than eggshells. But what I've done, like even in the off season from, from growing, I will just still crush up my eggshells and I will just broadcast it out on the uh, soil. And so I have, last time I did a calcium, well, did a check for my soil, I had a good bit of calcium in there. So I always broadcast it out so I don't want to waste the uh, eggshells. So that's one thing you can uh, also think about. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, if you're new to my channel, then you can look at my uh, tomato uh, uh, video. You can look at my watermelon video because I use that for a watermelon video. I use that to uh, grow my tomatoes and I also use that for my peppers. So you can check it out and see if you may uh, want to try it because it's going to help you uh, fight against the blossom end rot. That's what this does, helps prevent blossom end rot. So this is a, not a free resource, but it's real close to being free because I, you know, I paid $4 for the eggs and then, you know, you normally trash, trash the uh, eggshells, but you don't need to trash it. You can use it for your garden because it will work. Or like I said before, you can uh, ask your friends or if you know someone that owns a, a bakery, they can uh, save some eggshells for you and then you'll be good to go. All right, this is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.